Yu-Gi-Oh! is a pretty big game to jump into with thousands and thousands and thousands of cards and from $10 structure decks to world championship decks that cost a thousand plus dollars to make, it can be pretty overwhelming at times. This challenge, using only $40 a week, I am going to set out to build a deck using only Konami official products and take it to try and top a YCS event. And now, presenting Built From Nothing. And hello, we are back with, I guess, another part of the sealed only challenge. This time it is the Shadal structure deck, as you all can see. Um, yeah, we may be breaking away from DDD. I'll kind of leave that up to you all, if that makes any sense. I know that there's not a whole lot of people watching the channel, keeping up the channel right now, but we'll, we'll see what the very little comment section has to say. But for now, we are going to open up one of these, take a look at everything that comes inside, and then we are going to uh, take a look at the deck I build with three of them. And here is Claymat. It's pretty awesome. Cool. You guys have probably seen people opening these already, so I won't linger too much on the stuff like that. Now there's always like a little strip thing that you can grab and take off here. I'm never good at finding it, so we'll just kind of have to watch me struggle around this thing for a bit. Ugh. Did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? Come on. Come on. Is this... Hmm. This is one of those many times where I am... Uh, wishing that I didn't, or that I had nails, because this would be so much easier, but there we go, one struggle later, and we did it, congratulations, video over, so, El Shadol Grista, hopefully that'll be, this is a super rare, I believe, next is the new one, Apcalone, Alton Art Construct. Super excited about that. And then the, one of the new ones. Kod Shadol Kiaia. Ri Shadol Windy. Looking nice. Nail Shadol Ariel. Yep. And then the new... I've heard this new trap is actually really good for the sealed only stuff. So Resh Shadol Incarnation. An alternate art, El Shadol, Winda, look and fly. Then El Shadol, Shakanaga, I believe. I'm not good with pronunciations, I'm really not. And now we get into the stuff that's not necessarily new or just cool art, which I guess applies to Grista and Shakanaga, but whatever. I'll worry about my own stuff later. Shell Fusion, super important. Shell Falco. Hedgehog. Yeah, this camera's really shaking. I'm so sorry. The table I'm recording on is not the sturdiest. Uh, Squamata. Dragon. Beast. Hound. Shadol. Zephyrnaga. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. Uh, Shadol Zephyrcore. Also not going to use that. Black Lesser Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. This will get used. 100%. Lava Golem. Mm, probably side deck. Dark Arm Dragon. This will be used. Uh, Fairy Tale Sleeper. I don't actually know what this card does. So when I'm you know, building stuff, I'll have to take a look at it. Performance Trick Clown. That might be a side deck option. Armageddon Knight. Absolutely. Felis the Light Sworn Archer. Big maybe, big maybe. Electromagnet turtle, yes. Mathematician, absolutely. There's no chance I'm not gonna use that. Curry bandit, probably not. Pero pero Sur surpurus, Ugh. maybe, maybe. Curse of the shadow prison, absolutely. Very useful spell card. El Shadow fusion, also a yes. 
Neff Chagall Fusion. Yeah. Super polymerization, 100%. Instant fusion. I forgot that this was in here. Uh, probably not. Allure of Darkness is a huge yes. There's so many dark types in here. Foolish Burial has to. Living Fossil, hell no. Pot of Avarice. This was recently uh, unbanned. That's now, oh, Twin Twisters comes in here. I probably should have done a better job at reading what comes in here. Because all these things wouldn't be as surprising. Shadow Core. Sinister Shadow Games, no. Pure Shadow, Aeon, I don't think so. Lost Wind. A good side deck option, absolutely. Living Nightmare, or Unending Nightmare, Hibidar. Necrofusion. Subterra Succession. El Shadal Wendigo, everyone's favorite. And El Shadal Anoyatilis. I don't think I got that correct, but we're here. And Shadal Construct, the Link Monster. So that's everything that comes in this deck. We will open these two off camera, and then we'll cut back to, I guess, the deck I have and it being built. Sweet. And hello, we are back with the Shadal deck. I have a main deck, an extra deck, and a side deck. And they're not sleeved up yet because, again, I want to see if we want to do DDD or Shadal for the um, sealed-only deck. But let's jump right into things. And it's not in any order right now, I don't think. Uh, that is a not total lie. All the cards that are the same are all together, but this won't be in any particular order. So, first off, Super Polymerization for very obvious reasons. I'm only running one right now. Fresh Shadal Incarnation, just good for flipping stuff. You know, uh, it's been useful uh, in like online simulators and stuff, so. Two, Rishadol Windy, just good card to use. Two, Kaios. Two, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. Let me see if we can get that into focus. Is that in focus? Come on, focus, please. There we go. I'm sorry if my head is a little shaky right now. I... I'm just always shaky. I'm only running one Dark Armed Dragon. There we go. Only running one. I, I don't... I don't know. Like, with the way I play the deck, I don't get that many, like, Dark Monsters in the graveyard. I don't get just three in the graveyard. So, we'll see if that changes. Three. Shadal Fusion. Because if you're not... If you're running Shadal and you don't have three Shadal Fusion, why are you running Shadal? Uh, obviously, the one Armageddon Knight... Can't really do much else with that. There's only one allowed. One Electromagnetic Turtle. For the Light Monster. For a Construct. Because we want Construct. <laughs> one Foolish Burial. One Pot of Avarice. Um, shuffling five monsters from the graveyard back into the deck. And then drawing two cards. Is going to be helpful in this deck. And then, yeah. Three L Shadal Fusion. Because it's a good fusion card. It's a quick play fusion card. <laughs> then we have... Three, Allure of Darkness. <laughs> Again, all this is subject to change. Um, it's just the base for right now. Three, Curse of the Shadow Prison. <laughs> Gotta get the counters to use enemy cards, you know? I'm just gonna do this. This might be better. Two, Shadol Falco. You one day I'll get good at this. Yikes, this is really not the greatest. Focus, please. You know what? Okay, two should all hound. Yeah, two should all hound. Just you know, two should all beast. I'm running three Shadal Dragon, uh, back row destruction, um, as well as, you know, I can get rid of field, sp or, uh, field spells if need be. 
Should old Squamata. And last but definitely not least, three mathematician. I I feel like it's a pretty generic build, especially for the um uh structure deck. However, I know Jar I haven't seen a lot of people running Pot of Avarice, but that's just because like I wanna I wanna use the card. You know, it's recently off the ban list. It's a new, like, fun little toy, so why not? Uh, so this is going to be a little weird, because, um, you know, once I'm able to actually play test the deck and see how it actually works, and not just, you know, on, like, dueling nexus and stuff, then I'll be able to get a better idea of what fusion monsters I want. However, or extra deck monsters. Here is El Shadal Enoya Tovavoda. El Shadal... App Cologne. Uh, I'm running two App Cologne. One Anodida. El Shadol Shekinaga, which I am also running two of. El Shadol Grista. Very pretty. Running three of them, not just two. So, uh, again, all subject to change. Three. Winda. Again, it's a Shadal deck. Please run three Winda. Three El Shadal Construct, especially with the alternate art. I just love it. And then one Construct. It can resurrect itself for more Link Arrows. Once Master Rule 5 goes away, I'm just going to take this out, honestly. No no real point. Can you stay right there, please? Okay. And on to the uh, side deck, which actually... Um, is this in any order? No, not particularly. So let me, on camera, really quickly fix that. Not necessarily put it in an order, but just, you know, make it so that all the cards are together to some extent. Because I should have done that earlier, but I did not. And now I am. All right. Two more swing, go back there. Is that good now? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, two Nef Shadol Fusion. Another Super Polymerization. Three Lava Golem. Uh, of course, three Twin Twisters. Why not? Just, just why not? Uh, come on, focus. Resh Shadal. Oh, come on. Come on. Resh Shadal. Incarnation. Pretty. Pretty card. Good card. One Necrofusion. One Unending Nightmare. This is definitely with all the, uh, like, Back row removal. This might be a going second deck, but we'll see. Come on, focus. I know we all can read it. Please, please focus. One lost wind. There we go. Yeah. Come on, focus, please. There we go. One lost. Nope, it's three lost winds. Got you there. Uh, yeah, so that is the main deck, extra deck, and side deck. So I guess for now, see tell me what we want to do. Do we want to do DDD or do we want to do Shadal? Because both will be pretty good decks going into Master Roll 5. Both you know, DDD, you know, it's a sealed only deck right now, so I can't fully say this, but both are pretty good right now. Uh, Shadal's significantly better, we all know that, but uh, just let me know in the comments see what we want to do, and uh, next time we'll uh, have a idea of where we're going, I guess. So here we are. At this point, I have done something that, uh, to my knowledge, in sealed only challenges that I've seen, um, to my knowledge, this has never been done. We're just in like the first few steps. Someone completely derails and does, I just knocked the camera, that probably won't look good. Someone just completely derails and does a completely different deck. And here we are. We have DDD, which is kind of what we started with, and Shadal, which was released about like a week or two after I started with DDD. Both are amazing decks. I love playing both. I, uh, you know, I, I will go through this challenge 
with one deck and then just keep the other to play with and have fun with. But I want to give you all the chance to tell me which one I should take through this uh, challenge. Um, also, as you noticed, I re-filmed the uh, intro because the microphone I used to film it um, just didn't get the quality that I needed. As if you watched the first one, you heard. So if you're seeing this and then going back to watch the first one, please just skip the intro. However, it's up to you all. Should I go with Shadal or DDD for the sealed only challenge? Tell me in the comments or not, you know, kind of whatever. But thank you all for tuning in. Uh, see you next time I'm on here, I guess. Bye.